Greetings, Traveler, and welcome back to the Lapis Kingdom. I am the Blue Regent, and we are back for the fifth and final episode of the Valheim Spotlight series. Now, if you've been enjoying the Valheim Spotlight and are sad to see it go, don't worry. Starting next week, there's going to be something new for the channel, which is a multiplayer series. Now, normally, everything up to this point on this channel has been single player, but... Valheim's more fun with more people, and I've been enjoying Valheim. It seems like you've been enjoying Valheim, and so I thought I would bring on a couple friends to start a multiplayer episode. Now, as you can see, we are not in our normal base camp today, and that is because I wanted this last episode to focus a little bit more on the building, and this little abandoned farm, I guess, is the kind of place that I like to normally set up shop when I start playing Valheim. Now, our original camp is up here. This is over where we've been hanging out in the Black Forest, so we're kind of not really near either of those things. However, this is what I would like to think of as an ideal location in Valheim. I've got a lot of water around me, and actually, if I had that, um, actually, where is it? I just got a little turned around for a second. If I head this direction, <laughs> there's there's more black forest. And as you can see, it is significantly closer to this place than the last place we were camped at. Now, I haven't really done much here yet because I kind of want today's episode to focus, like I said, on building. However, I have set up a little bit of a like crafting area storage depot thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start chopping down some trees gathering some wood, setting up some, like, storage piles, basically, and then we're going to get to building. One of my favorite things about this game, as far as, like, really getting into a building project is how easy it is to start stockpiling resources. You know, I can start setting up log piles, stone piles, and really use that as an opportunity to really start setting up like a resource depot. Now, I haven't really started experimenting yet too much with like complicated builds. I've really just kind of been playing around with trying to maximize what I can do with early game builds. And that's mostly because that's where I've been spending the bulk of my time up to this point. Either because of like the spotlight or because of like practicing for multiplayer or getting the multiplayer sir <clears throat> or getting the multiplayer recording going, I've really been spending a lot of time in in these kind of early days of the game. And I f I feel like you know for me personally, that's kind of the most fun in most survival games is the real early, like, gotta survive, you know, it's it's kind of tough. This game kind of puts you back there essentially any time you go to a new location because that's that's kind of the point of this game is, is it progresses. And so as you get better, it gets harder and it gets more demanding of you. Which kind of keeps you on your toes. And it's fun because it, it, it definitely tricks you into thinking that you are always going to be as strong as you were in the, in the last area. Now, as you can see, <laughs> while, while I was trying to gather wood, I ended up having to deal with just like Grey Dwarf incursion after Grey Dwarf incursion, which, which got old after a while. And that's the one drawback to settling really close to the Black Forest. If you're trying to do stuff at night, they just, um, they just keep coming. I heard somebody big. Oh, there is a troll. Oh, no. So close to my house, too. Troll, you are not welcome here. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where did you go? Hello? Troll? <laughs> um Did you did you teleport away? But where is it? Oh, this is making me nervous. I 
really don't want that troll to, to pop up out of nowhere. You know, you know, I was just trying to have a pleasant building episode. And now I've got some troll with like invisibility potion or something. It's somewhere. Oh, I hear a beehive. Yep, there it is right there. Well, I, I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't nervous about um, where that troll went. I also really don't know what to do about that. I know it's nearby. It's got to be nearby. Oh, I am going to be on edge the rest of this <laughs> episode. Oh, is that a burial ground over there? Cool. All right, well, this is a great place to stay. Troll, I don't know where you are, and I hate that. And so I'm just going to have to act like I don't know you're here, I guess. And and maybe you'll reappear. So yeah, as I said earlier, the ability to stockpile resources makes stockpiling resources uh, considerably quicker. Because I don't need to stop to build new chests every time I have too much wood. Okay, you guys are you guys are out of control right now. I need everyone to chill out. Um the fact that I can just make these like wood and stone piles really oh my goodness, the whole forest. You know, you know, everybody I don't want to hear about it. Um oh my god. Okay. All right. The fact that you can make these stone and wood piles is it's really um it's really game changing and you don't need a crafting table to set them up so you can actually kind of just go around chop down trees break up large stones and set up stone and wood piles as you gather them and then just kind of like mark on your map where they are which then just makes overall gathering resources faster so I just built a hoe, and that means that now Hugin has more stuff to say. Let's see what you have to say. This tool is used for landscaping. You can say it is the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground. Okay, good to know. Um, and so basically what that means is, is that I can use this tool right here to... I keep hearing growling. I keep hearing that. Is that coming through? Can you hear that? I am I am a nervous wreck. <laughs> um, but I can use this to essentially level ground or raise the ground or to make a path. And so I want to level the ground. And so let's try to do that. I think if I click on one spot, it'll kind of try to level everything based on that. So let's... Let's try building a house over here. Yeah, I think it'll level it in whichever direction. So if I'm up here, I think it'll level this up. I think it just tries to kind of flatten it to the surroundings. But don't quote me on that. I'm, this is this is still something I'm trying to learn. But basically, what it does is it. Oh yeah, okay. So if it's if you're on lower ground, leveling higher ground, it'll help bring the ground down a little bit. And if you're on higher ground, trying to level lower ground, it'll bring the ground up a little bit. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Um, let's build a crafting table. We'll throw it right here. And let's start building a house. Now, when you're building, if you mess up and want to remove something, it's it's really nice it's a simple click and it immediately breaks it down and as far as i can tell you get all of the resources that you put into it back uh which i think is awesome so let's see here how do i want to build this i think i want you to be bigger than that little crafting slash storage hut so let's go Ooh, i need more wood And then when I need the wood from the wood pile, I can just go break it up. Um, actually, 
actually, you know what? I think I want this to be narrower. So I'll just get all this wood back. And yeah, we'll just bring it in one. Um, I'm going to want a bed. I'll throw that right here. And you know what? I'll throw a second bed in just in case I ever have somebody on uh, hanging out with me. Now, I am ultimately going to want a fireplace in here. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is fine. And then I can put some some furniture and stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I'm kind of working on this as I go. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to need some stone. Oh, some of my raspberries grew back. So this is one of the reasons that I like to set up in these little abandoned villages is a lot of times they have raspberry patches which will grow back the raspberries over time. Um, as of right now, you can't plant raspberries, which which kind of stinks. Um, but you can... They, they do regrow on the plants that they grow on. And so that... Um, you know, having that... Having that nearby all of the time is really nice. And actually, I should I should fix you up. I'll fix you up after I finish this house. Can I fit two fires on here? Oh, I can. Oh, cool. Okay. How close to each other can I get them? Pretty close. Okay, that's cool. Um, then let me box this in real quick. Just a little bit of decoration. But I need more wood. Now, normally in a bigger building, I would probably want to build some support structure first. But I think that with something as simple as this, I would want to... I don't, I don't really need to do that. It's, it's not going to be that complicated. Um, let's see. Build you right here. And we'll just get this nice, simple structure going here. Um, so I went with the 45 degrees, so I'm going to need 45 degree roofing. Just like this. Uh, nope, it's a little low. That's okay. Between the snapping system and the fact that you get your resources back... It's, um, it's really nice. It just makes building really pleasant. And one of my favorite things I'm actually going to show you in a second. I discovered this in the multiplayer map. And I'm going to show you here in a second. But this is one of my favorite features. In early on building, I can build a ladder to get up higher. I don't have to build scaffolding. I don't have to wait. All I need is just some normal wood and I can start building ladders right away. And I think that's great. It, it really makes building way more convenient. Um, I'm gonna build put this one here. And um, more more pleasant. You know, it really, it, it um, it makes you want to build more complicated stuff right away. Just because you can get up higher. You know, I, I don't need to wait until I can find a specific thing to be able to build a ladder. Or I don't have to wait until I can um, unlock a certain technology. I can just, I can just, I can just build a ladder. And I can build stairs right off the bat. You know, that's, that's, it's just really nice. It's just got a really nice interface that I, that I really enjoy. And I, I can't ever say enough good stuff, in my opinion, about this game. Um, oh no, don't fall off the roof. Well, I fell off the roof. That's okay. Um, and just having like this, this right here, just being able to, Get right back up there and and right back to work. That's that's um, it's a really big deal to me. So let's see here. I think I want to put like a little 
Um, I'm gonna do this night or this 26 degree. Um, oh, you're giving me a hard time. Let's see here. What if I? Did like a this. Now does the smoke actually come out of here though? That's the important thing. So making sure that the smoke filters out is important because otherwise it'll start to fill up your house. And it looks like some of it does, but some of it is, well, um, well it is looking like a little bit like it's building up in here. Huh, okay, well we'll keep an eye on that. I could also, now that that's on there, probably take this off. And then the smoke will get out better. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. And then what if I, if I put that there? Does that block the smoke? It doesn't seem to. Seems like the smoke's still coming out at the same rate. Okay, all right. So then I can do the same thing on this side. And it seems like all the smoke is leaving. Okay, cool. Um, I want to decorate this a little bit more. So I'm going to put these here. Do I need to have them? Absolutely not. But I like the way they look. And it kind of makes everything feel a little bit more connected. Uh, if I put you here, does that obstruct the smoke leaving? Um, there's still a pretty good amount of smoke leaving the house. I think I want this kind of effect and that that right there the fact that I can have this longer piece and it disappears into the ground to a certain extent oh it's 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 perfect throw that there just make this house look a little bit more structurally sound while keeping an eye out for that troll um, and again I can make use of this cool feature now will it let me oh I gotta be in the zone of influence of the crafting table look at that man that's cool that's that's cool I love that so much and I think I want these guys to do like that kind of thing maybe yeah yeah I like that now is that necessary no it does not need to happen um, I think I'm going to do like a little bit of a this. It's kind of a slightly different angled roof coming off the sides. Yeah, this is a nice simple little house. What else can I do to improve on it? Um, I could take one of these. I'm going to get rid of that for now. Get rid of that for now. I'm going to throw this right here, that right there, and let's put these roof pieces back in. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Now, would this interfere with the smoke if I put this? It might. That might cause a problem, but we will know in a second. If the house is filling up with smoke. It doesn't seem to be filling up with smoke. Okay. So this is a pretty modest interior. And it's small. But this is a pretty accurate... Like... Like Viking house. Um, like an like old Iron Age Scandinavian house. Um... How much wood do I have on it? Oh, quite a bit. Okay. Let's let's do some more here. Oops. Again, not, not really a problem. It comes down pretty easily. Maybe I'll bury some of these in here, too. You know, I, I feel like these are the kinds of... Oh, I'm running low on wood.
being able to, oh wow I used <laughs> I've used a lot of wood that's okay um being able to do like little details like I'm doing right now you know that's to me what really shows a lot of thought into how detailed the buildings the the developers were hoping to see overlap stuff like that in my opinion really shows that you know they're paying attention to what builders and other games like to do or or wish they could do and and kind of saying like okay like like we can try to we can try to do help you with that we can try to help you achieve that that like look that feel and um i think that's cool you know um arc game games like this when they when they have like the ability to do this right here to just kind of hide in this this tiny tiny detail um i think i'm gonna leave that one clear um let's do a little bit of this yeah now, I can't really do that on this side because that'll actually make the doorway too hard to walk through, unfortunately. So that's that that won't get it, but that's okay. Um, this is cool. I like this a lot. Is it is it big? No. Um, does it have a lot of space? Absolutely not. But it um, it fits the aesthetic. It feels like it belongs. It feels like it fits with with like this building over here for sure. Um, let's let's fix you up real quick, and and uh, yeah, I I I I think that this 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 overall building system is just it's just nice. It's just nice to to play around with. It's it's nice to um, experiment with. I I have a lot of experimenting to do with it. I'm not going to waste my time with those stumps. I have a lot of experimenting to do with it, but um, you know, it's 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 just fun to play with. It's it's relaxing. I, I don't waste my, you know, unlike other games, you're not wasting resources on repairing your tools if you make mistakes, or you're not losing resources by tearing stuff down if you make mistakes. So it really makes you feel like you have a lot of freedom to kind of explore and make mistakes and in a game that is at times rather stressful I've, I've spent almost this entire episode afraid of a troll that I can't see and I don't actually think is there anymore but I keep hearing stuff in the woods and so that's just making me super paranoid um, and you know if so many other things about the game are stressful you know why make the building stressful too why why make it why make that also very like really frustrating and and make you want to um you know bang your head against the wall like i appreciate that i can take a break from running around and trying to not die and and build a nice house oh yeah look at that i'm proud of that house that just looks really nice. So now we've got like this little storage area, crafting area, and then if you come over here, just have this little um, this like cozy little house. Yeah, I like this. I would feel very cramped in here if this was my house for real. But you know, if I lived in an era where most of your time inside was just sleeping. Um, this is an appropriate sized house. Now I heard bees in this abandoned house over here. So I'm going to go check that out. Yep. I definitely hear bees. Let's break these little trees to get in here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll use these. Oh, there's the troll. I do not want you by my house. No, I do not. Oh boy. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, you are destructive. Okay. Uh not not near the house. Not near the house. That's unacceptable. Wow, 
that hurt. Oh, that hurt really bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you're so fast. I don't like that. This is like the ultimate kiting game right now. Oh, I got him. Yes! Oh, that was... Oh, that was too much. That was too... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No. You do not get to sneak up on me. Immediately after I killed... Hey, 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 get out of here. Oh. Oh, that was too much. That was, uh, that was too much. That was, that was, that was a lot. I, I needed that troll gone. So fighting it was, was the only option. But also, uh, what, a, what a bad option. Um, <laughs> they move very fast and are very strong. Uh, it hit me once and I almost died. And, um, I don't need all that. I don't need all that drama. What did I get from the troll? I got uh, some coins and some troll hide, which I can use to make armor and stuff with. That's cool. Um, let's follow that path that we went and see if uh, other stuff got destroyed that I can just pick up. Oh yeah, look at all this wood. Perfect. Yeah, let's get these bees out of here. We'll get our we'll get our beehive set up, and then um, that'll be it. And then we'll just go like this. Um, actually, we could put them... Um, can we put them on, uh, like, a post? Oh, I can. Cool. So I'll just go, like, one post here, one post here, one post here. You know, it's like a combination of, of grid-based construction and, like, freeform, and I love that. And now we've got a renewable food source. Look at this little farm I've got going now. Got this house, got like a little stone pile going on here, which might get moved to this side of the fence actually. Then I can come in here and cook some food and yeah, yeah, there we go. So the, here's our cool little house, just like a little tiny showcase of, of how like building works in this game. You know, it's definitely not a tutorial obviously, but you know, it's just kind of fun to show this off. We've showed off some of the exploring, the hunting, the the dungeon diving elements to it and to now turn around and show off um you know this portion but it's fun to show like these just like the early aspects of a, of a brand new game and just kind of like show them off talk about it talk about what i love about it and give you the opportunity to see a game that maybe you that maybe might have uh flown under your radar so this is valheim um, like I said, this is the last episode of this highlight series. You know, if you do want to see kind of what happens in the future of, of um, this little farming village, maybe we can explore it some more, do some building. I might actually do some, like, like update tours of this place because I, I kind of like this little village that I got going on here. Troll problems aside, I, I like this place. Um, but yeah, so starting next week, we're going to be having the multiplayer series. I'm really excited about that. I hope you have fun with it. And I look forward to seeing you next time in the Lapis Kingdom. Have a great day. Bye.